Hi guys, it's Jesus from Locon Agency and today I wanted to show you how you can collaborate between several people to build your Glide app. Uh, so right now I'm in my go.glideapps.com website, right? And I can see all of my apps and then I can see all of my templates. I'm going to move my face over here. The most important part, if you want to collaborate with somebody else so that two people or more can build one Glide app, the only thing you have to do is create a new team. So let's do that. So I'm going to create a new team here. This will be the test team. You can choose an industry here. Then I'm going to click create team. So that creates a new folder in your Glide account. As you can see, I just created this test team. So I have my apps folder, which is by default where all of my apps are. I have this test org and which now these are called teams, new team. Previously, they were called organizations and that's why I have this as a test org. So the first thing that I see is members. So as you can see here, members can create, edit, and upgrade apps, and they can also access app data and invite other members. So keep that in mind when you are sharing an app, when you're sharing access to somebody in this folder, in this team, they will be able to edit the app and edit the, the data, not the Google Sheet though. So let's add a member. So I will add, hey, at local agency. So this user gets an email from Glide with an invitation to open this folder and collaborate here. So as, the, as you can see, the status here is pending. As soon as they log in to Glide and open this link, they become an active member. Now, if I go to my apps, I don't have any apps. So let's say that you already started working with an app and you want to move it here so that you can collaborate with local agency, right? So I go to my apps folder and then I'm going to move any of these apps. So let's move this one. Transfer to test team. So I click this button and I click transfer. And that's it. That app is no longer in the my apps folder. Now it is on the test team folder. It's important to keep in mind that you cannot transfer right now pro apps from the my apps folder to any team or any other folder. So what you would do is create a duplicate of your pro app that is a free app, then move this free app over to the new folder, to the new team, and then contact Glide support so you can move your pro membership from the app in your my apps folder to the new team. So in this case, both my user and this other user can come in and edit the app. The most, it's also important to note that those two users cannot be editing the app at the same time. Either one or the other will be able to be logged in here on the Glide Builder, but not both at the same time. Uh, it's also important to note that both users in this case can see the data. The other user cannot open the Google Sheet yet because you would have to share access to the Google Sheet with that email address, with that user. But they will be able to see the data and edit the data that you have in your Google Sheet from the data editor in Glide. So just keep that in mind in terms of your security. Uh, in Glide, you can also hide certain columns and we'll cover that later. Um, so I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, download the hastusvarkas.gladapp.io app and you can see over 40 something videos that we have there on how to do things in Glide. Hope you enjoy this. Have a great day.